if you are looking for some of the very best FM23 plug and play tactics, you have come to the right place. Whether you're just short of time or you're here for a complete overhaul of your tactical style, here on the channel, I will test the tactics so you don't have to. In today's video, I'm going to take a look at a positive 352. The subject of today's tactic testing video is going to be the 352 Davide Nicola. As you can see, it's set up in the classic 352 style. So let's break down some of the positions that you're going to need. Starting at the back with a goalkeeper that is set to defend. You then have three players in the middle. What first of which on the left is a ball playing defender set to defend. You then have a central defender set to cover. And another ball playing defender set to defend. On the left hand side you're going to have a wing back who is set to support, a deep line playmaker set to support and on the right hand side a wing back set to support. In the middle a box to box midfielder set to support, a Mazala set to attack and at the top of the pitch a deep line forward set to support and an advanced forward set to attack. So as I said, set up in a classic 3-5-2 style of football. Its tactical style is Controllo del Possessio. Its mentality is positive. Its in possession will look like this. Its in transition will look like this. Its out of possession will look like this. So I'm going to put this through its paces in a single season sim. I'm going to use Leicester, Cadiz and Fiorentina. We're going to kick things off in England and look at the Premier League. That means we are looking for Leicester City. We find them in 10th place. If we break down their campaign, they played 38 games. They won 16. They drew 6. They lost 16. Scored 69. Conceded 72. They had a minus 3 goal difference. And they finished on 54 points. That was 8 points behind Chelsea who finished in 6th place and qualified for the Conference League. If we go to the profile page of the Premier League. You can see they didn't trouble the stats. But if we go and look for some of the players. Iheanacho got 19 goals. Vardy got 18 goals. And Daka got 13 goals. In terms of average ratings. Jamie Vardy got 7.23. For the assists. We had Patson Dacker with 8 and James Madison with 7. Player of the Match Awards, you had James Madison with 5 and Ian Nacho with 4. In terms of clean sheets, Danny Ward managed to get 8 across the season. Yellow card's not really an issue, so discipline isn't too bad with this tactic. We then had Thomas covering 15.57 kilometres per 90 minutes. Justin with 3.57 tackles per 90 minutes. And in the dribbles per 90 minutes, they didn't have anybody in the top 20. So Leicester have kicked us off with a 10th place finish in the Premier League. Let's look at the other competitions then. They were knocked out in the 5th round of the FA Cup by Burnley. And in the Carabao Cup, they were knocked out in the 4th round by Norwich City. Next, we have switched over to Spain. We are looking at La Liga and we are trying to find Cadiz. We find them in 17th place. They have played 38 games. They have won 10, drew 7, lost 21, scored 29, conceded 62, had a minus 33 goal difference and they finished on 37 points. They avoided relegation by just 3 points and they were 22 points behind Betis who finished in the Europa League places. Looking at the profile screens we're going to have to look to find their top performers. Avaro Negredo got himself 13 goals. For average ratings they had nobody inside the top 20. For assists again nobody inside the top 20. Player of the match awards is... Alvaro Negredo with six. In terms of clean sheets, uh, Ledesma got himself eight. Discipline again, not too bad with this tactic. Nobody inside the yellow cards. They had Iza with a 15.58 kilometers covered per 90 minutes stat. Tackles per 90 minutes, Espino with 3.18. And they had dribbles per 90 minutes, nobody inside the top. 20. So they have avoided relegation, finished in 17th place. Let's look at the competitions tab. They also played in the Copa del Rey where they were knocked out in the first round by Murcia. 
finally we have jumped across to Italy we are in Serie A and we are looking for Fiorentina we find them in 10th place they have played 38 games they have won 17 they drew 6 they lost 15 scored 51 conceded 56 had a minus 5 goal difference and they finished on 57 points. They were 9 points behind Inter who finished in 7th and qualified for the Conference League. And they were 11 points behind Sassuolo who finished in 6th and qualified for the Europa League. In terms of the profile page for the league... Again, we're going to have to go looking for the players. Luka Jovic got himself 11 goals. Nicolas Gonzalez getting 10 for the average ratings. Had Gonzalez with 7.25 for assists. They had Biragi with 8 for Player of the Match awards. They had Gonzalez with 4 clean sheets for the goalkeeper. Terraciano got 10. Yellow cards, again, not an issue, so discipline really is good with this tactic. Distance covered per 90 minutes, Alfred Duncan with 14.29. Tackles per 90 minutes, Amala with 3.61. And dribbles per 90 minutes, they didn't have anybody inside the top 20. So they have finished 10th place in Serie A. Let's look at the other competitions. They played in the Europa Conference League and they were knocked out in the quarterfinals by Villarreal and they finished in the quarterfinals against Roma in the Coppa Italia Coca-Cola. So ending the tactic test with a 10th place finish for Fiorentina, a quarterfinals of the Europa Conference League and a quarterfinals of the Coppa Italia. Right then, if you're still with me at this point of the video, firstly, a big thank you. Secondly, you could hit the like and subscribe button to help the channel out. I really would appreciate it. It really does mean a lot for everybody who takes the time to come to the channel and interact, no matter how big or small that interaction is. Before you go, don't forget there are other things on the channel, such as other tactic testing, including non-league. There are Wonder Kids, Let's Plays, Rebuilds, a little bit of something for everybody on the channel. For this one, I'm going to leave it there. Big thank you for watching. I'll see you on another video very soon.